Hello, everybody. Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. Oh, my goodness, there are a whole bunch of people in here. Let's go all the way to the top. Terminator, good evening. Big kid, what's up, bud? Super exciting to hear about your thermal generator. I'm really looking forward to hearing more about it, specifically the digits that I mentioned earlier. Eagle Lover, Texas, good evening. And Jules, today is actually Wednesday. Yeah, what else we got down here? Mr. Rick, hello. Tambra, good evening to you. Try to get down here to the bottom. And you guys have been talking up a storm. Look at that. Milk and Honey Heritage Farms, good evening to you. If I miss anybody, I apologize. Farm All, 140, what's up? I'm, I'm closing in on the bottom. Faith K, good evening. Silver Lining, what's up, my friend? Getting deep with data. What's up, data? I think. Oh, I think we got them all. Drummondson Live. Good evening to you. What's up, bud? Yep. B is here tonight, finally. And she actually walked upstairs with one minute to spare. How cool is that? Yep. Yep. Right on time. <laughs> yeah, goodness. Hilltop Home Place. What's going on? Faith hey. planted 150 tomato seeds today. Oh, my goodness. Still need to transfer my earlier starts to individual pots before they get yucky and too intertwined. Half bubble off plum. Good evening to the greatest name on the Internet. All right. Well, should we get rolling tonight? What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Hey, just some laundry items, guys, in case you guys are interested. So I was on the Conscious Resistance podcast this week. And if you go to the Conscious Resistance website, which is just the consciousresistance.com, um, anyway, you'll see it there. It was a really good conversation with Derek Bros. Derek is a guy who's been in community a long, long time. And uh, we've, although we've used a few things differently, we view most everything exactly the same. And so I had a really good time with it, and I'm enjoying getting to know him um, better. I was also on um, a TV, there was a, a news station called UGI Media, who um, I was on one of the shows this week a little bit, but I haven't gotten the video, so I can't post it. But um, anyway, it's UGI Media. If anyone wants to go check it out, that was pretty cool, too. Will any of those people be at the Self-Reliance Festival? Um, I'll see UGI Media there, <laughs> and I won't see Derek Bros there. Yep. Um, I want to write that down. Yep. Easy. Good evening. LJC, my friend, how are you? Joseph, good evening. Gypsy, what's going on in Tennessee? Um, and of course, Indiana Mike. Ahoy. Chris White, hello. Yep. You see, uh, just keep a backing tag. You still get there just backwards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so what do you want to talk about? What's first thing on your list? Um, I got a new brooder. Yeah, talk about it. Why? Um, well, because uh, so... I don't even know. We uh, we had we had chicks perspective's in the... funny because I'm gonna tell the story from my perspective mm -hmm. too. But go ahead and tell it. <laughs> we had chicks in the in the kitchen last year, but it was, um, it was just for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we hatched um, thirty chicks total, and they were in the kitchen for a week and a half. And um, it was getting too much. They were starting to fly. They were starting to fly from one side of the of the tote to the other. So soon, I assume they would be flying out of the tote, and I needed a better place for them. So I was gifted. <laughs> I was gifted. What? That's some bullshit right there. Um, <laughs> a brooder that was like two feet by five feet. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go into details? Because that's my side of the story. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Um, so no, this is this is super important. Let me get my hellos real quick. Wendy Benjamin, good evening. Um, back in Nova Scotia. Tamara wants to know if you have any chicks. Yeah, it's, Tamara, yeah. we got a bunch. Hey, Spags, what's up, buddy? Everything oh, is going good. I got I got duck eggs half um, incubating too, Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Bobby. Hippocrates. Good evening. 
So <laughs> says, I thought the only thing tag hatched was schemes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm hatching the eggs. <laughs> I, yeah, I am of me. Hello. Good evening to you. Okay. So let me tell you what really happened in this whole egg debacle. Mm -hmm. Okay. So B is this, an egg debacle. Yeah. So B wanted some more incubators. So I bought her two 100 egg incubators on top yeah. of the incubators that she already had. Mm -hmm. Now you don't have to put a hundred in each one. You can just do half. So she put a half load in 48 eggs. No, half a load, half a load in there. She starts hatching them. I didn't give it much more thought. I went about my day. So about the time they're hatching, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to build a door for my garage. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Went and got the stuff. Yep. Went and got all the material. Went and got everything to only be informed when I returned that B needed a new brooder. And so where we want to. I needed a solution. Yeah. So where we were going to put it, it was going to be a little bit colder than the house because it's on a in a mud room but not really a heated room. Mm -hmm. And so it'd be a little bit colder. And so I had to make it like a cooler basically. So I took um, half inch plywood and then sandwiched an inch and a half of insulation in between the panels, the bottom, the sides, the tops, everything. And spent my last couple of days out um, working on Indiana Mike. Kind I think of. Helped me a little bit. Well, yeah, I did all kinds of things, but. Yes. You didn't just dedicate all this time to me. Oh my God. <laughs> the thing that takes most of my time, her. Um, but anyway, quite, quite a bit. Yeah. So I built this this five foot by two foot by twenty inch, um, big basically box. a box on wheels with a lid and a light in it and and all of these things so that she could have another place. But it was funny is, you know, like I get window. I get a hard time sometimes about why do you have so many projects going on. Mm -hmm. This is why <laughs> something came up. Yeah, I went and got everything to go build this door. I was ready. Everything stacked in a pile. Here we go. Get a couple days to do it. Get a couple days to do it. I'm going to knock it out. It's mm -hmm. going to be done before I leave for SRF. Mm -hmm. And then a bee got in the way. Mm -hmm. Basically. You got stung. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rick says, join the swarm. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Tamber says, 100 chicks is way too many at once. Yeah. yeah. I got, um, she, she hatched 30. She put four, 48 in the brood, 48 in the incubator and hatched 30. Mm -hmm. Basically. So, yeah, I'm a me says duck eggs are great for baking. They're even more nutritious than a chicken egg. Spa I've heard this. Spag says better all the way around. Hey, I need to know what uh, kind of chick, what kind of duck ducks those are, right? So that I, how long, what's the incubation time on those, Bobby? And what kind are they, right? Yeah, uh, and what 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 am I looking for? Tamara said she put 120 eggs in and 102 eggs hatched, and she won't do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. Um, Big Kid says, um, have I checked Life uh, Po 4 battery prices yet? They have almost cut in half. Yeah, I haven't, but but those uh, a lot of that pricing stuff's coming down. Mm -hmm. I've been talking a lot to Lion Energy, who makes their own lithium batteries, and I'm working on getting a freesteading deal through Lion Energy, um, but I have not checked out the the Life um, Po 4 batteries in a while, just because I just haven't, you know, haven't really had the need um, to do it. So anyway, let's go back to chickens, because I think this is important. Yep. So I would be curious to what everyone thought. If you were going to, if the shit hit the fan and you were going to eat one, one rooster per day, how many roosters, you know, it's important that you heard what I said, right? If you were going to eat one rooster per day, how many chickens would you need? Do you know the number? No. I do. Did you already do the I did all the math, math yep. Yeah. Now, this is also assuming, okay, that you're going to lose a quarter of your flock to just death, right? Natural, you know, how chickens die. Yeah. And let's also assume you're going to lose a quarter of your flock to predators. predators. And Eagle Lover Texas has 365, except what I asked was roosters. If you were going to eat one rooster per day, right? So one rooster per day, and you're losing half every year to whatever, whether it be predators or whatever it is, how many would you need? Um, Spag says it's going to be a mix of okay. Cayuga, Welsh, Harlequin, Ruin Runners, Ancona, Silver Apple Yard, Pekin, Khaki Gamble, Golden 300, who knows? 28 mm -hmm. days for ducks. <laughs> so all of them are 28 days. Yep. Yep. Um, I am Mises 365 plus half of that. Close. Because again, what percentage of them are roosters? So assuming you get half roosters and half hens and you're only going to eat the roosters, right? And assuming that you lose 50% along the way, 
how many would you want to um, grow every single year? <laughs> Who eats a whole chicken every day, says Big Kid. <laughs> yeah. Well, according to my math, and I did the math, you would need 667 birds. If you're only oh eating roosters. Gosh. And assuming half of them are, are roosters. Yeah. And half are hens, and you're keeping those for eggs, and then you're losing um, that percentage. Anyway, I thought that was pretty interesting. I don't know. What did he say? 28 days? 28 yeah, 28 days. days. Yeah, Big Kid says he guessed 800. Yeah, that was pretty close. Yeah, and see, Jenny is super excited to see ducks swimming on your pond. <laughs> yeah, we actually had ducks on our pond this morning, Bobby. Yes, um, this afternoon, too, they were back. Oh, were they back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's ducks out there the doing their thing. same little green-headed ones. Have you seen people mobbing the roasted birds at Sam's? No. I tried everything I can not to go to Sam's. Um, I think I'm Skane's girl says, I think I'm already, I, I think I may already have that many. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Big kids has never been to Sam's. Yeah. I've been to Sam's, but I try not to go if I don't yeah. have to. Duck is delicious and are better for you. Mm. Says Richter. Mm. Anyway, I thought that was an interesting bath equation to figure that out. That's, that's a lot of bird. Yeah. That's one of the things I was doing before the live. Just doing the math, trying to figure out, okay, how many would you really need? Because I was just curious. What was the final number? 667. Wow. And that's assuming that you you keep 55.6% of the birds make it through, you know, birth, through predators, Butcher. through all the way to the to, or the, to the end of the year. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of assumptions in that, though. Isn't that the truth? Yeah. Yeah. All right, what else you got? Yeah. Skip it for your turn. Richard Hakes, good evening. <clears throat> Hope I didn't miss anybody in there. So we ended up with um, um, when we made soap, she ended up with 71 bars and okay. I ended up with 55 bars. Okay. Um, so that was the 16 batches of our bars are huge too. Yeah. I didn't use any kind of gauge to cut them like, you know, four ounce bars, four ounce bars. I just kind of hunked it off. So, <laughs> so, um, so you guys worked for five uh, hours, right? So in five hours, they did 16 batches of soap and that hours. netted. What's the total? Yeah. Um, 126. Yep. So that netted her 126 bars of soap. Let me see here. Yep, 16 batches. Let me see here. I have to go frequently. Parents seem to think if it's not at Sam's, no one else has it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many pounds would that be? How many pounds of soap do you suppose that is? You probably didn't weigh them, did you? Um, no. I'm assuming she's talking about soap. She might be talking about chickens. Maybe. Yeah. I'd have to do the math. I didn't do that. Um, I am and me said I went with my chicken lady to get some American... Bressies. Bressies last week. My neighbor is moving and giving me their chicken and coop. I'm kind of scared. I have never had chickens just around a lot who do. Yeah, they're the easiest of all of them. I like chickens because they just they just don't really take a lot, you know? Yeah, they're entertaining. Yep. Uh, so the, the brooder that I made, I am of me, um, I put a big window in the top of it mm -hmm. and a light on the inside. And so it's in a, in a dark room. And it was neat tonight to watch B sitting on the box just watching the chickens down in the sawdust flop in their wings and it was really pretty cool but, uh bathing dust bath dust bathing yeah Tamara said i'm gonna have one less rooster one of them started crowing this morning at 3 a.m and crowed constantly till 4 28 mm. <laughs> hey b put anyone any more lie in aluminum lately no <laughs> no we, uh, we use stainless steel this time <laughs> yep that was a good experiment, though, wasn't it? Uh, I know. I know now not to do that. Yeah. Daryl Ernst says, hello from Puerto Rico. Wow. Yep. I've been here planting fruit trees for four years now, and I already get some fruits. How amazing is that? Welcome from Puerto Rico. That's awesome. What kind of fruits are you growing, just out of curiosity? Um, if you want to eat one rooster a day for a year, you need 365 roosters because they're 365 days. Yes, but how many chickens would you have to hatch to end up with 365 roosters? That was my question. But yes. Because half of them are. 
Yep, I had to chase my neighbor's dog from attacking my old dog. I had a baseball bat. Boy, did they run through the deep snow. <laughs> yeah, I'd run. <laughs> Terminator, if you came at me with a baseball bat, I'd be running through it too. Okay. Will Be Cool is here. Greetings from Northwest Florida. See you at SRF. Yes, I can't wait to, to go to SRF, and I can't wait to visit you. Make sure you pull me aside. I'd love to sit down and chit-chat. Yep. Um, Palmento Paratrooper, how are you? Yep, I haven't seen you in a while. Glad you're here. ACM Homestead, good evening to you. Lori Foster, good evening to you. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Silver Lining says uh, to the IM of me, says uh, people love to talk about their chickens. You'll get help if you ask. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, um, Big Kid says that could have turned out a lot worse. Mm -hmm. Talking about the aluminum? Yeah. yeah. Could have. Prep for the Eternal Homestead, good evening. Um, Daryl says my son had 14 laying hens. And he headed out of town and wasn't gone but three hours. And a dog jumped the fence and killed all of his chickens by ripping into the pen. Uh. Yep. Tambor says twice as many chickens to get that many roosters. Well, it's not just twice because you also got to figure you're going to lose, or at least we are going to lose some to predators because we choose to let our chickens free range. And I live in the woods. And um, so you're going to lose some also just because you hatch them don't mean they make it, right? Because mm -hmm. it's just like you, you right. lost three right away. Right? Yeah. Um, and then one has some some leg issues going on. Yep. I mean, me says, uh, oh, my chicken lady is the best. She's going to teach me all I need to know. I'm more excited about their poo for my garden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Palmetto Paratrooper said, I'm just getting older and uglier. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. No, um, you're not. I don't know about raising chickens. I only had one chicken at a time. I thought you said you hatched 100 of them. We're through, no, 667 of them, actually. Tag, I think your numbers are off. You said 650-ish. That's not enough accounting for the losses you mentioned. You said 50% losses and 50% females. Okay, so this is my math. I could be wrong. If I if 365 days, right? So you need 365 chickens, but you'd lose a quarter of them to uh, loss. whatever, to whatever the loss is, right? Which means, let me see here. Got to be able to follow my own math, huh? Yeah, where to get 55.6%. <sighs> and if figuring that 50% of them are roosters and 50% of them are hens, mm -hmm. right? Then that comes up to 667 birds. I didn't write my math down, so I guess we'll get back to it. But I would love another uh, another idea. Not that I'm going to raise that many birds, but. Yeah, no. Yeah. No, we'll just have to eat, you know. Beef too. Yeah, Jules says G and Yoda had several att attacks recently. They did, mm -hmm. and you know, down where they live, um, you know, I know that area really, really well, and it's um, kind of Low. bottom bottom ground with lots of water, and so them coons, man. Yep. Someone said spray leg. Use a rubber band. Sp okay. Yeah. 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 Yep. Hey, Carl Price. What's up? A rubber band. Um, Faith says that you're right, Tag, because you subtract the losses, then divide in half. Yes, I think that's how I did it, <laughs> but I don't have my math in front of me. I just wrote down the answer. So calculate how many chickens you'd have to hatch and at what interval in order to have a steady meat supply. You wouldn't want to hatch many, that many at one time, maybe do hatching every four months. I actually totally agree with this, mm. right? We can have a chicken and squash. Oh my God. Every mm. day for supper. Every day. Why you got to add the squash? because <laughs> it adds color to your meal we moved recently so i only have one hen and one rooster says palmento i let let them free range during the day to cut down on ticks but we're not worried about getting eggs just yet yeah we had some dog over today right yep. i don't know i've never seen that dog before yeah we had a visitor today and he was awful interested in the chicken so i went and got my handgun and walked up there to the hill and Yelled at him, and then he took off running. That was the end of that. A big black dog. What did you say it was? Um, I thought it was a German Shepherd. You said mm -hmm. it because it had a curly tail. Yeah, I think it wasn't a German Shepherd. I think it was part like Rottweiler, part Lab, or something like that. Oh, it had a short nose? Camber says it's because I love it. Mm -hmm. Big Kid says, first you said 50% losses. Then you said 25 losses. That threw me, I think. Did yeah. you do 50% loss? 25% loss. Well, 25% loss. I don't remember. For that. predators and... Yeah. 
squash and chicken pot pie. No, I think I did 50% for predators or 25% for mm-hmm. predators and 25% because I got it down twice. I don't know. I have to go back and look at my math. 25% but. predators and 25% disease. And- yep. Yeah, will be cool, says squash and chicken pot pie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Daryl says, I have too many to text, laugh out loud, but among them are star fruit. Oh, that'd be awesome. And of course, lots of banana. Awesome. Red fruit. Oh. Another fruit that looks like a cherry. Jackfruit, breadfruit, and I am about to get my first avocado. Nice. How cool is that? Yeah, we can't grow any of that stuff. I would, I'm would. i trying to do avocados. <laughs> <laughs> I am a me says B needs to make a tag slap your mama squash casserole and see if he still hates squash. <laughs> Big kid said, why didn't you have your sidearm with you? Yeah, I didn't. I was just standing. We were loading this brooder in and my truck was sitting right there next to me, which that's where it was at the time. So, yeah, but that's a great point. I need to do need to carry it more often because sometimes around the farm, I'm just working and it's just sitting there, you know, but. Um, Daryl, you're very, very welcome. I think what you're doing is awesome. I'd love to see pictures of some of that fruit. I've never, you know, like a star fruit. I've never had. I don't even know what they taste like. It's just a lot of freaking chickens and you can eat hens too. Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not suggesting that that would be the, the the protocol or any of those kind of things. I was just curious Yeah. when I came up here, if you had to eat one rooster and you had to have it one day, how big would the flock need to be? I'm a nerd that way. And then I get kind of caught in the... Yeah, how many do we have to have yeah. and what... Yeah. Like, what would ideal look like? Yeah. Rick says chicken and squash lasagna. Mm. Yeah, Gypsy says, Tambra, no squash in Tagestan. Right, but in Beeville. <laughs> Bethiopia. Oh, Bethiopia. <laughs> Why Bethiopia? <laughs> it's just what came to my mind. I don't know. Grumpy said two yellow labs got their chickens. Yoda saw them when they came back. No, it was dogs? I don't know. I mean, usually, yeah, I don't know. And either way, either way, you got to Fort Knox it, right? Big Kid says, I'm not dressed without my 45 and boots. Mm -hmm. If I caught them coming back, they wouldn't come back again. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Always carry. Yep. Uh, This chicken murder is what I'm worried about. Another has two pit bulls and they let them run loose all the time. Yeah, well, I think what you just got to do is make your coop strong enough to deal with it. I mean, I what think at the end of the day, fence, or... whatever. I mean, if you if it's if it's big dogs that can run through your fence, build a bigger, stronger fence, mm. or put a hotline up, or whatever it is, you know. Bury some wire. Bury some... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Zeus, <laughs> great opening comment. Eighty-two thousand four hundred seventy-three chickens, just in case. Just in case. <laughs> I'm planning to start with a dozen or so, but I've heard of chicken math. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's bad. 80, 82,000 sounds about right. Yeah. I saw a big black coyote just uh, below my house said Carl Price the other day. Mm. I pray he doesn't get my goats or chickens. Yeah. I have some really big Brahma roosters. You could eat one rooster for two days. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Some of them are huge. Yep. Let me see. Uh, yeah. I Carl Price. I read through your statement. I knew yeah. you said goats. I knew what it was. I'd rather they move. Laugh out loud. Yeah. The country's three S's shoot shovel and shut up. Yeah. <laughs> That's some really good advice. Will be cool. Really good. So who am I? You at last? My turn. Um, Anybody find it funny real quick while you're thinking? Anybody find it funny? Trump wasn't arrested. All I, the hype. I, it's going to happen tomorrow. I oh, heard. okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Yesterday it was supposed to happen on Tuesday, yeah. and then Tuesday yeah. they said Wednesday. Yeah. So why wasn't he? Um, there was some kind of I don't know court hearing that happened. Yeah, I think it's just more things to keep us distracted. That's what I think. Mm. You know, look what we're doing over here. Look what we're doing over here. You know, don't look over here. Still Roz, hello, good evening to you. Palmento says, the cool thing about the country is that you don't need a suppressor. Nobody bats an eye when they hear gunshots out there. No, here either. No, they're here, yeah, all the time. Somebody's yeah. shooting almost every day. Yep. Yeah. I read an article one time about how in the, in the past, people would harvest chickens at various ages depending upon what they were cooking, says LJC. Young broilers versus old hens for soup. Hens... Make more flavorable broth. Cool. 
They dismiss the grand jury for a day, says Faith. Mm. They fear the orange man. Yes, they do. I guess it depends on the size of the rooster. I also have a bad ass Sarama rooster too. Cool. Exactly. Another distraction. Yeah, I agree. Distract, distract, distract. Supposedly he is turning himself in and that security said they would not do a perp walk. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. See, the thing to me is I, I kind of really think that so much of what we see is just bullshit, you know, all the time. And, you know, just one way to keep us distracted, keep us fighting each other, keep us all worried about what's going on. And don't, you know, forget of the fact that they, you know, behind the scenes change things. You know, like I was on my last video, I did the, we were talking about the um, fractional reserve system. And when COVID was coming out, I looked up the headlines that day. And on March the 26th of 2020, they moved the fractional reserves back to zero. Yeah. So they don't have to keep any reserves. But anyway, they did that behind all of the, you know, headlines of COVID this and COVID that. And, and you know, the beach isn't safe and your dogs aren't safe. And, you know, yep. don't get together with your family. And then behind the scenes, they're doing all the other shit, you know. Stuff. Yeah. By the way, Lori Hyman, good evening to you. Um, Daryl says, I've tried saving the legs of several different spe species of baby chicks with rubber bands mm -hmm. and everything I could think of. And it only always seems to make matters worth. I let them live if as long. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to decide whether or not to get um, in. Bee's got one with sprawl leg mm -hmm. out there now, but it's getting better, right? Yeah. You know, I used a uh, band aid. I used a band aid and I wrapped mm -hmm. one around one leg and one around the other leg so sh she can shift, shuffle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she, it's interesting too because she knows it's on there. She takes her beak down there and tries mm -hmm. to like play around with it, gets, tries to. Tries to get out of it. Yeah, Palmento says, I see Donald the way I did in the 90s. He's too far left for me, New York City liberal. Yeah, I'm not the biggest Donald fan either, although I would take him 10 times over what we have today. Um, not even close, but I just think the whole thing is just insane. The other thing is that I would also, um, Daryl would tell you that, you know, the, um, no, I'm sorry, not Daryl. Who said that? Where are we at here? Palmento, well, right? Yeah, Palmento, sorry. Palmento that, um, you know, we need to get out of this whole two party thing. You know, I think it's so fascinating how they they say, you know, the United States is racist and, you know, it's all this, you know, racism, racism, racism. And yet they divide us between red and blue. Yeah. You know, they divide us between the two parties and that's perfectly acceptable. But black and white isn't. But red and blue is perfectly fine. Right. And it's just a scam. I am so tired of the Republicans, both sides. I'm sick of them. Yeah. Call Price says, I have a free donkey for anyone close to me in Southeast Alabama. There you go. Anybody need a donkey, get a hold of Carl Price. There you go. There Tag, you, go. you hit the nail on the head with all that is going on. Yeah, I think I think it's just such a freaking scam. Tringo says, Tag and B, what county are you guys in? So if you mean country or county, county I'm in Jackson, country I'm in the United States. Um, Dorothy Holloway says, hello guys, how are you? Good evening, Dorothy. Um, so Trump's secret service better stay in jail with him. Yeah, I'll finish this in the morning. I am early to bed and early to rise. Daryl, got it, buddy. Hey, thanks for stopping in. I appreciate it. And I like hearing about your fruit trees. Make sure you come back and tell us more about it. Mm -hmm. I could use some, some help on the avocado trees. Yep. Yeah, Rick wants to know when hunting season for traders will open. <laughs> I'm hoping never, Rick. But I fear it will be soon. But I'm hoping never. Freesteading party, yeah. Let me see here. I would take him if I could. What what is uh, the donkey? Oh, the donkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me see. A tag. B needs a donkey. Mm -hmm. No, B does not need a donkey. I need a donkey. Yeah. No, we don't I, need. I we, need and, two donkeys. No, and we don't need two donkeys either. I need two donkeys. Yeah. Yeah. The dude that's trying to prosecute Trump is a county attorney. He's a joke at best. Well, the thing is, I, I think they better be careful, you know, because one thing about Trump is that dude's a pit, pit bull, you know. I mean, he he won't just lay down and take it. You know, he'll come back swinging. So, you know, we shall see, right? Yeah, we shall yeah. see. Chiochi, how are you? It's a hair tie with a straw in the middle. The black elastic ties. Is it a hair tie with a straw in the middle? The black elastic ties. I must have missed something. Probably for spry legs, maybe. Oh, a maybe. hair tie with straw in the middle to keep it like. Oh, okay. I mean, that's what makes sense. Black, black elastic ties. Yeah, Palmento says, you know, somebody that wants a donkey. 
but but Oklahoma is not very close to Alabama. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. No. <clears throat> All right, guys. So I've got some homework for you guys, and I wanted to make sure I got this out early in the live, um, thirty minutes into the live, because me and my buddy Data, who's on here tonight, had an uh, idea, uh, yep had an idea tonight. So Friday night. We're going to do a live um, with me and Data, but two mi- mystery guests. No. Yeah. We'll do it from SRF. On the road? No, we'll do it when we get no, there. when you get there. Like at 8 p.m., where I'm going to shoot for, um, and I'll get it all out there. But we're going to do a live with me and Data and two other guests. Now, both are YouTube channels. Both have YouTube channels. Um, you guys will be familiar with both of them, I would think. But we were thinking about doing a... Um, do they know? Does everybody that... I no, I haven't talked to all of them yet. Okay, but they'll be fine. Okay. Um. So we'll we'll do a live, all of us together. And I, what I thought we would do is do kind of a rapid fire thing. So let me tell you what I mean by this. Uh-oh. So yeah. So the people who will be there are lots of permaculture experience, lots of homesteading experience, lots of prepping experience, um, living off grid experience. There'll be a lot of that sitting on that round table. And so if you guys want to do me a favor, and they, my email is tag the letter N B. So tag N B at lifedonefree.com. If you guys email me questions, then what I'll do is we'll sit around a table and just rapid fire questions. Now, here's the thing. Make it fun, right? And it don't matter if the question's hard. Ask the hardest question you can ask or funny questions too, right? Because it will be fun. Is everybody going to answer the same question or do they need to say like data? What's the blah, 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 Well, they don't know who the other two are. So we'll just assign so them out. We'll you talk about it. ask the yeah. question like what's the yeah. hardest blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And then yeah. everybody from the... Yeah. Group will answer the same questions. Yeah. And we'll, we'll just try to have some fun with it. And um, we'll set up a big camera and we'll do it um, from our Airbnb. Okay. <laughs> right. That Are you not, sure you can do that? You got internet there? You they, got... It says they have internet and okay. they've already sent us the codes to it and all of that stuff. So all right. I think and it'll be, be fun. will be there in time for and all yep. that. Yep. So I think that will be a lot of fun. So if you guys have questions and it doesn't even have to be. A homesteading, comments. prepping, whatever. I mean, it could be a silly question, you know, whatever. It doesn't matter, but it'll be fun. And we'll just rapid fire question for however long it takes. And then we'll all go to bed. Or stories that you want read, maybe. Yeah, yeah that'd be fine, too. Um, but send them to us. It'd be pretty cool. Proctor says Trump and Biden. Yeah, though, no, they're not going to arrest both of them. <laughs> Although that'd be great. Uh-huh. They should. Had donkeys for years. They will protect your livestock. Mm-hmm. Also will sound alarm if strange things come around. Great pets. Yeah. Like a secret location round table. Yeah. Something like that. What's my favorite squash dish? The one that's empty. <laughs> <laughs> Ones that the dogs will eat. Because <laughs> sometimes the dogs won't even eat it. Yeah, the... Um, Data says maybe the mad Russian and the bad Chinaman. Yeah, maybe, but we got we got to figure out is who is the mystery third one that's going to be staying there with us, buds. You know who I'm talking about, right? <laughs> so I don't, I don't want to bust it. I don't want to say it. So, so if you're staying with them, now you know. <laughs> now you're you know. On the hook for Friday night. Yeah. Entertainment for the rest of us. Michael Sherman says, uh, "Howdy, just got here. Hey, welcome. Good evening." Hey, you like to do woodworking? I see. That's pretty cool. I love to do woodworking. He says gardening too, but that's mm. way more you. But Dick gardening and yep. more. Yep. Yep. Big kid says grumpy and spags. It's a good guess. Question mark. Question mark. It's a good mark. guess. But I'm not going to let out who it is. But it will be cool. I'm excited about it, and I would love to have some questions. And I think the sillier or the harder or whatever political would be fine. You might not want the children in the room for this one. <laughs> yeah, you might not. Yeah, that's why we'll do it at eight o'clock. Okay. Because by then we'll be, Everybody you know, will be in the, we'll, the we'll have a couple beers down and it'll be, you know. Oh, great. Right, 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 right. Oh, shoot. Right. It'll be fun. Yep. So any question will be fine. Or even something about, you know, what's going on in the world today. You know, hey, what do you think about, you know, this? What do you think about Biden vit- uh, vetoing the bill that would have outlawed the environmental, social, and governance score? Or whatever, you know. Um. Yeah, Palmento says uh, SOE must be involved if there's a child warning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, Jewel says Grumpy Spags, Data, and Billy. Yeah. <laughs> be sure to ask Tag the hard questions. Tag, you know how to make an old generator that runs but doesn't. Big kid, you lost me. Tag, do you know how to make an old generator that runs but doesn't? 
What, what's the last part of that? Um, is good. Should be done with the refuge medical training by then. Oh, cool. Um, where did you say to send the question to? Okay. So I'm going to, my email um, again. She put it up there. Um, I thought like, Jules did. Yeah, Jules did, but I'll, I'll say it again. But um, one of the um, moderators, if you put my, there you go, right there. Jules just put it in again. She's quick. I am of me. Yep, right there. Thank you, Jules. What time zone? So it'll be Eastern time zone because I'll be in Tennessee. Mm. So it'll be seven here, eight there, right? Yeah. Um, damn, enter button by the... <laughs> You want us to use a certain header on the email? Yeah, qu just put question would be nice. I mean, but I read 100% of the emails that come in. So any yes, of it. Um, yeah, I do. I think it's important. Uh, let me see. Uh, Michael Sherman says three kids died suspiciously in Arizona due to difficulty breathing than another in Chandler, Arizona. Hmm. How old are these kids? Yeah, how old are the kids, Michael? Do you know? Is that today? Hey, Uncle Bodie, what's up, bud? How are you? Farm Ranch Homestead says Central Time Zone in West Tennessee. Is it? I don't know. Good Farm Ranch Homestead. Good catch if that's the case. Oh, that's a good guess, Rickster. Okay, let me see here. I thought a certain header would make it easy to throw them in a separate folder. Yeah, I would love that. So how about how about just put the subject line as questions or question? And then I'll be able to put them all together. And we'll just have a good old time. Eastern central. Tennessee. Okay, Central. Okay, Farm Ranch Homestead. Thank you very much. So I guess it's Central Time. I stand corrected. Michael Sherman said the kids were younger than 10. One infant. Oh, could you imagine? I could not imagine losing one of my children before me. Um, Dom says, Tag, you can declare hunting season on squash. See, I love this idea. I have my own range. So we could take the squash, put them on T-post, and just... Blow them up, and then put the chicken. And then in. let the seeds go everywhere down there, and then like multiply, multiply, multiply. Or we can just let the chickens in. Oh, and they can the just seeds, clean it all up. They would eat the seeds yep. too, because they they know a good thing when they see it. Yeah. Um, Big kid says anyway, you can cut the end off a cord and strike it on a battery to re-energize the capacitor with another load plugged into the generator. Hmm. Okay, I want to understand what you're saying here, though. Anyway, you can cut the end off a cord and strike it on the battery. So you're talking about a cord just plugged into a regular 110 or a generator or whatever it is and just tap it and it will re-energize the capacitor. Is that what you're saying? No. Um, 8 p.m. Central Time. There you go. And I know it's a little bit later, guys, but I got a nine and a half hour drive to get there. So I want to make sure we get there, get set up. You know, I could take a shower, you know, maybe get, you know, a couple pizzas ordered or whatever it is we're doing and and get on with it. Um, let me see here. That makes more squash three meals a day. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Tringo says, uh, Governor DeSantis introduced legislation to ban CBDC in Florida. Yeah, he did. And um, South Dakota has also followed. Uh, actually, I think South Dakota was first. They're doing it too. Um, data them plus Spags and Billy would be amazing. Yep. Great guess. When generators sit, the capacitors tend to lose charge. Just a tip out there for folks. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Carl Price, thank you. We will be safe. Be next year, they won't have to set up targets and the diff difficulty level will go up since they will have to find the squash once the seeds spread. I yes. love this. I love this. I You're love eating this. it. I'm blowing it up. Well, all of the squash is gone now. Next year, we're going to do zucchini this year. Not next year. This year. This year you're doing this zucchini. Year. And I like zucchini better this than I like squash. We're have... Rebel Capitalists just debunked the idea of making CBDC illegal just today on the channel. Yeah, I think that that Florida and all of those states, good luck with it. Because I think it's coming no matter what. But they can reject it all they want, you know. Tamara hopes that Texas rejects it. You actually could see Texas, you know, seceding from the union. B, how many squash plants would you need to feed Tag a squash every day asking for a friend? <laughs> What's well, if we kept all of them, yeah. it would probably for every day. Yeah, so each plant produced how many squash? Oh, jeez. Ten? No. I only had two plants down there and mm -hmm. all those 20? squash. And I gave like 
17 right off the bat away. So 20? And then I had, <laughs> no, I had it, probably 100 squash. Yep. Um, Juby Joe wants to know, how are you and founders going to weed out predators on freesteading? Well, I hope that if there is somebody that comes in that's a predator. That's a problem. That's a problem. Somebody lets me know. And we've had this happen before. There was a couple times someone emailed me and said, hey, watch out for this person. I actually had one this week. And then what I do is I flag it and I just watch what they're doing. And if if it appears to me to be creepy or, you know, that, I'll just get rid of them and be done with it. Because you know? I want freestanding to be a safe place where people can come and, you and know, be feel free. safe. Yep. Um, I am a me says Jules. I pray for your right, but my spidey senses have a bad feeling. Yep, I agree. Michael Sherman says he loves squash. He says he grows Seminole pumpkins and butternut. The pumpkins can store for nine months. Yes. Yeah. So do butternut. Tamber says if you plant gray squash, it's better than yellow squash or zucchini. Huh. <laughs> Indiana Mike says I think you're onto something with self-replicating targets. <laughs> so we need to go down there. Seriously, let's try this this year. And Go just pl plant a few squashes just down the range and some pumpkins and some watermelons or whatever. If the deer get them, who cares? And then I can have something to shoot at. That'll be fun. You're going to see, you're not going to see them. That makes it that much funner. You're just shooting to the ground. No, I'll, I'll see the lines range. of the watermelon and I'll just explode it. And oh my goodness. It'll be so much fun. My goodness. What a waste of food. Mm -hmm. I will feed it to you instead. <laughs> Tag will be praying for the squash vine beetle, uh, the squash vine boars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. No, because uh, that gets into everything. Yeah. Texas U.S. Senator Ted Cruz introduced a bill today. According to the U.S. Constitution, only the U.S. Congress can set currency. Just saying. Yeah, but this gets into the, I mean, the, the lines of the three branches of government have really, you know, kind of blurred. I mean, how many times have you guys heard of an executive order? You know, obviously it's executive order because it comes from the executive branch, even though judicial branch, you know, is really what's, you know, well, the judicial is enforcing them and the legislative is the ones that's making them. So they're doing it that way. So, you know, it wouldn't surprise me to see it. Mandy Garrett. Hello. I should send you the conversation and you can see for yourself how it turned. Yeah, I'm in. Totally in. Um, we do tons of zucchini canning, pineapple slaw, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Um, Did you see the see the YouTube with Amber Z today about internet tax? No, I have not seen it, Chiochi. You want to write that down and I'll go look yeah. it up? Amber Z, Z E E, and the internet tax. Um, on the vine boars, wrap the stocks with flex workout tape. Oh, interesting. Utah is about to pass a no CBDC bill next week. Yeah, and I, the only way I think it works is if you get enough states doing it. You know, if you could get, you know, 60% of the states doing it, it, they might listen, but probably not. Texas Governor Abbott has been a disappointment con uh, concerning protecting Texans at the border. So highly doubtful he'll do much of anything else that will actually help Texans. Yeah, it's sad. Yeah, Eagle Ever Texas's executive orders aren't law. No, they are not law, but unfortunately they're enforced as a law, right? But they're, you're 100% right, they are not law. They're a recommendation. Um, Jewel says, I pretty much debunked their crap for years when Ebola was the new scary. I actually went looking for it. I never found it. The vid I knew was the flu. I got sick, but still here. Yeah. I right, got caught up, I think. All right, cool. What's on your list? Next um, week. That was it. I've got company coming. I've been trying to get the house ready for that. I've been trying to... I know I got to pack your stuff and get you you ready to go, but I've also got to get the house ready for them. So I'm mm -hmm. trying to. Yeah, I'm excited about this. I'm hoping that I get to see my brother-in-law a day before I leave because my sister and him are going to come down and hang out with B while I'm gone, which is pretty normal in our world. Come, I guess it's up. come down, come down, come up, come up. Yeah, whatever. Come around. Um, but that'll be pretty cool. So get to hang out with them a little bit. Yep. I'm excited about that. Um, my brother-in-law, so my sister married my best friend all the way through high school. And so we have been good friends for a long, 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 long time. And he's actually the guy I started prepping with in 1993. Eating he, fish off of rocks. Yeah, we did some of that too. I don't know why that's such a big deal to you. Like you bring it up all the time. Because I think it's just the weirdest thing to like not, 
not plan, not prepare, <laughs> not just like, let's go off into the woods together and then just yeah. like go into the woods yeah. with some cigarettes and <laughs> find food and sleep yeah. out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. And just, I just think that's so weird. Yeah. So the story. I she's... also think it's weird that you <laughs> jump on a train and go to wherever it takes you. I think that's weird as. Yeah. Well, that's a different time back then, babe. It's a, you know would be the story be yeah, talking I about. Do I would never have done stuff like that. Well, you and we're like the same. Maybe age. you had like, parental supervision. Weird. I didn't. I did have parental supervision. <laughs> so anyway, the story she's talking about is me and my brother-in-law Jeff, and he is a great human being. He's the uh, one of the owners of the Water Street Waffle Company in Belton, Texas. But anyway, so. Him and I used to march through the Rocky Mountains all the time because that's what we did for fun. And we would go up around lakes and we would try to find the most remote places we could find. We'd go up and fish them. So we would pack light. And so typically we didn't bring food. And so what we would do is we would catch fish and we would heat up a rock and then we would cook the fish on the rock. And she thinks this is like super weird. It was really good. Yeah, who else Who else would think that that's weird? Yeah. Who else thinks that that's normal? <laughs> To not take anything with you. Did you take a fishing pole or did you yeah. just take a stick like no, they do on no. Little House on the Prairie? No, I managed to take a fishing pole in my tackle box. So you did carry stuff. Yeah, I just didn't bring it. I any just water. thought, you know, you were out there pulling strings off your jeans no. trying to fish, you know, <laughs> carrying it in. No, <laughs> no. I don't know. No, we, we we brought the important stuff. We brought the fishing gear. And a coat. And beer. And beer. And cigarettes. Cigarettes. But no food. That's just, and then you just eat fish. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> let me see where we at here. Um, I'm a me says, B, I love that you pack a suitcase. I used to do that for mine when he had to travel. Yeah. yeah I love it too. Yeah. Until he's like, did yeah. you pack my suit coats? Yeah. Eagle Lover Texas says that the Texas National Guard is deployed at the Texas border. Oh. And Jewel says you could do stuff like that back then. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't all that weird when... I grew up in a town called Castle Rock, Colorado, and I would hop a train in Castle Rock and ride it into Denver a lot. And I had a girl once that I was chasing who lived in Westminster. And so we would, I would hop a train and go up there and jump off the train. And then when I wanted to come home, I would get back on the train. And... Did you have to like run after oh, the yeah. train and oh, yeah. like catch it? Catch it and climb on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> B wasn't like us, huh, Tag? <laughs> no. no. No, apparently not. Amy B, hello. Hello, yeah. freesetting. Yeah. Hello, freesetter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Bodie says, I used to fish Belton and uh, still House Lake all the time. Yeah, I love to fish. I don't do it like I used to. Yeah. Dorothy says that for guys, that was normal. Really? That's normal. <laughs> okay. Hey, Nancy's here. Yeah, sounds normal to her. Guys, Nancy is uh, buff the Buffalo Seed Company. She thinks that's normal, See? too? See, Nancy? On, so apparently really? you're the weird one. I guess. My mom never would let me jump a train and go to the next town. Yeah. Well, my mom and dad didn't care if they were around, right? Yeah. And you know what's so crazy? Like, I yeah. look back at it. There would be times when I was a kid, I would leave and be gone for three days and no one even noticed. Like I'd come home and it was not like, where have you been? They weren't like, the police nope. are already looking for you. Nope. nope. Wow. That's just weird. Yep. Um, Big Kid says freight trains are not hard to catch and hills are in towns. Yeah. They weren't going that fast. You know, just run up next to them and grab a hold of them. You know, Nolan Ryan for governor says Tamber Smith. When I was in high school, guys had their shotguns uh, in the truck on a rack. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's just the way it was. Yeah, and isn't it crazy how I am and me, you never heard of school shootings back then? Yeah, they did in our school, You too. know, <laughs> I mean, you know, let me see here. Uh, Jules says, dang, Tag, that story brought back memories. I remember all those places. Yeah, I, I love that kind of I stuff. I thought she was going to say she was jumping trains, too. I'm like... <laughs> Skanes Girl says, we used to roam a few miles from the house sometimes, build forts, climb trees, catch crawfish, etc. Wouldn't make it home until dark. Yeah. See, Rickster, yeah. Rickster says it's normal. Huh. Yep. Juby Joe said, if fishing had made me a living, I quit a job, and that's what my manager said. I hope it does. You're fired. <laughs> yep. Uh, Farm Ranch Home says, not taking food would either make you a good fisherman or a good forager. See? Yeah. We knew we'd be fine. 
the worst case is that I was going to spend three days or something without food. It wasn't that big a deal. Yeah. See, to me, that's a big deal. Yeah. I mean, it just wasn't. Then again, I eat more than you. And so. you know what's crazy? We drank out of the pond, out of the lake. Dang. You know? Just completely crazy, huh? Yeah. Without boiling it or anything. Nope, just, just cut your it. hand and just drink or just shower. You know, nope. wash We didn't yourself. shower while we were up there. Oh, really? No. Oh. No. We smelled good. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Right. Palmetto says, I wasn't in high school yet, but I remember when people went to high school with rifles in their truck. Yeah. It was my high school had them. Yeah. Jules says she never got around to hopping trains. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Dorothy said, my dad hopped trains to ride to the other side of town when he was a kid. Yeah. It wasn't that big a deal. Huh. We just hop right up there and sit right on the side and go to where you were going and get off. Like it was just not a big deal. I never seen anybody. Did the train hurt. stop and you got off, or no. did you have to like jump you off? Jump and off, roll. You, you, you were rolling. You just, <laughs> I guess sometimes you rolled. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, big kids is our school parking lot had enough firepower to stop an invasion. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Nurse Wang, how are you? Says so our high school sent out a message to everyone because someone had a disassembled paintball gun in their car. Yeah, ridiculous. It was disassembled. Why do they even care? And what are they doing looking in your car? We used to roam the tundra in Alaska, says Milk and Honey Heritage Farms, sometimes facing facing through ice. Good adventures. Yeah, see, I think that's normal. Brenda Spencer shot at my elementary school back in the day. That God, I was, thank God I was sick that day. Mm. Wow. Jules said we'd go camping with Grandpa, Grandma and Grandpa, and she'd make us brush our teeth and wash our face in the river. <laughs> Skates girls, so they didn't have any. <laughs> Terminator says tag, jump, tuck, and roll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much. Tuck and roll. <laughs> I never uh, I never hopped a train since Silver Lining, but did a lot of hitchhiking in my younger years. See, really? <laughs> yeah. CB, you've been in the closet your whole life. Yeah, no. Yeah. Could you see Silver Lining out there as a young person hitchhiking? Mm -mm. No. Yeah. That makes sense, though. I mean, I've seen those. Yep. I see. Also, also seen those stories where people come up missing. Mm -hmm. True. Juby Joe says uh, fishing rainbow trout in the Guadalupe. Yeah, and that's actually what we fished mainly for. Juby Joe, rainbow. we were up, was rainbow trout up in. Sometimes we get some pike, and sometimes we get some of those things, a walleye or something here or there. But mostly we were fishing for brown trout, rainbow trout, huh. typically. Would you just keep whatever you caught, or would you throw stuff where well, you're like, nope, I'm picky today? Yeah, no. If it would depend on how much we have caught that day. <laughs> it depends on how hungry you were. And yeah, I mean, so if we all we were catching was little ones, we would keep the first few because that was going to be our dinner. But if you caught some big ones, you'd trade them out. Trade them in and out if they were still alive, you know. But, oh, but we yeah. ate them. Yeah. My high school did trap, skeet, rifle, and pistol club, says Richter. I'd love that. Mine did not. That would be cool. Milk and Honey says, my grandma, and when a teen would steal bread from the family's bakery, hope train and hop feed train. the home, hop a train and feed the homeless in Portland. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Miley Mason says, thumbs up, 104 in here. 50 thumbs up, 104 in here. Hello to all. Yep, thank you for that. Oh, yeah. I had to do cross-country skiing and moose calling, said Milk and Honey. Oh, let's see. Let's hear it. Yeah. <laughs> you got to come on the live on, or, yeah, on the Zoom tomorrow and yeah. moose call for us. Yeah, that's actually would be a good point to remind everybody. Don't forget the Zoom tomorrow at 7 p.m. 7 p.m. That's yeah. why we're on here on Wednesday, yep. so that we can we're take not interfering with it. Yep. Thursday to see everybody else. Yep. Yep, super cool. Don't forget to hit those thumbs up. Yep. Let everyone know we're here. Yeah. Do you want me to turn on the uh, light? Or yeah. Are we getting like, woo, it's getting dark in here. You are just weird today, aren't you? Me? I'm not the one that used to <laughs> jump trains and like eat fish off Speaking of hitchhiking, I had oh a guy gosh, pull a gun. Stuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> you going to make it out of there? Sorry. Speaking of hitchhiking, I had a guy pull a gun <laughs> and demand, ooh. Hello, everybody. We're here. Jack um, from Life <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, speaking of hitchhiking, I had a guy pull a gun and demand certain things, and I jumped out going about 40 on a bridge. Never hitchhiked again. Yeah, that'd be scary. Oh, I probably better, better go check the fire. because. Okay. It's... Um, Terminator said, when I was a kid, I used to take my bow and arrow and hunt rabbit. I still have that bow. Oh, how cool is that? But what about desserts? Hey, yeah, what about desserts? 
wonder if she heard me. Good looking out, Hippocrates. When we lived in Massachusetts, this old tomboy dug worms, grabbed my ultralight, walked to a spring, fed creek a mile away, and fished for brown trout. Yeah, how amazing. One time when I was seven or eight, says Skane's girl, I caught an armadillo. I brought him home and named him Charlie. My mom was not a happy camper and totally freaked out. <laughs> Once, when I was seven or eight, I caught an armadillo. I brought him home. I named him Charlie. <laughs> uh, Juby says, no, it's your dinner. Yep. Um, on call now, so getting paid to be more free. How cool is that, right? Juby Joe says, how to Zoom? Okay, Juby Joe, so if you go to Freesteading at 7 o'clock tomorrow, so every Thursday, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, there's a link that pops up right in the activity feed of Freesteading. And if you click that link, link, you go into this big Zoom meeting with a whole bunch of homesteaders and a whole bunch of people talking about this and that. And it's a lot of fun. I really, really enjoy it. And we'll do our best to be there tomorrow. Um, here lately, only my free days are Monday and Wednesday. Um, see, Rickster says, B, you sold my PJ pants. You stole it. Or does B have the same ones? Um In fact, I started carrying a sidearm 24-7 and 365 after that. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm pretty good about carrying when I leave the farm. I'm not real good about carrying on the farm, even though you'd think that's where I would carry more often because you need it, you know? Tamber said rifles in their trucks, and we didn't even lock them. Yeah, <laughs> different times, huh? I also used to collect frogs and stuff, stuff them in a jar and sell them to the tourists. <laughs> so are they still alive? Because <laughs> I can tell you, I've known some little kids who have loved some frogs to death. Literally. Palmetto says, I opened my back door um, and a garden spider had made a web across the doorway. I named him Charlie <laughs> and forbid anyone from going through the back door. <laughs> yeah, how long that last? Just out of curiosity. Uh, Big Kid says, keys in the ignition at Tambra. And two or three rifles or shotguns in the rear window rack. Yeah. Different time, huh? Just an absolute different time. Yep. All right, what else do we want to talk about? I think I'm caught up down there. So I don't know if you guys read this or not, but there was a big article that came out that talked about how inflation is up again. And they were actually referring to February, but the inflation rate was up to 10.4%. So I think this is an important number to know because first of all, it's bullshit, right? So if they're, if they're claiming 10, it's really 20 or better. Um, but I do think it's interesting that they're claiming inflation is um, turning up because for a long time they were talking about how it was flattening out. And so now they're talking about how it is. Um, that was in the UK tag. What was in the UK? Talking about the inflation was in the UK. Well, I read it and it said the United States. Anyway, I just think it's regardless of where it is, the 10.4%. So let's say it was the UK. I thought it was the United States read the article, but either way, I think it's interesting. So what I did is I went and um, did a comparison for February to like the S&P 500. And so I was looking at what was the total yield for the S&P 500 during that same period of time. And it was 2.6%. So the S&P 500 was up 2.6% and inflation was up 10% um, to 10.4%. So I think you can do some pretty easy math and, you know, determine that you know, if you would have bought assets prior to that month, those assets would have been worth more than you could have earned on the market. That was my point. But Amy B says inflation is up. So I am making biochar. If treated right, it's like permanent garden amendment and moisture retention strategy. I like that. Frog lounge sound great for dinner. I'm not a big frog leg fan. I've had them a few times. They're just kind of blah. You know, they're like a tasteless chicken, right? A little bit anyway. Let me see here. Mandy says, what do I need to do to order an It Depends shirt? Oh, yeah. So, on my YouTube channel, Mandy, and I don't have them posted yet, but I'll get them up there here shortly. Mandy asked me if we would create a It Depends shirt. And with that, if you guys, if anyone's been on this channel a long time or many, many channels, you know, every time you ask a permaculture question or a building question, it like always follows with, well, it depends. And so, uh, Mandy wants a It Depends shirt. So, I have them made. I just got to get them all up and posted on the um merch store on my youtube channel so that's where they'll be mandy and i'll try to do my best to get them up there quick 
Um, whatever they say inflation is, you could probably double it. I could not agree more. Could not agree more. Um, Amy B says, oh, Rick, the pond has roll call all summer. Uh, delicate chick chicken texture. Inflation at our grocery store is about 20% per week. Yeah, it's insane. And just think, guys, it's going to keep going. You know, I, we talk all the time, and I get a lot of people who talk about my house and like, man, it's cool you built your house, and I can't believe how cheap you built it for. I couldn't imagine trying to do it now, right? Because inflation's gotten outrageous now. Lumber prices are down. So now would be a good time to actually buy lumber, but just absolutely crazy, you know? Let me see here. You think I could send Tag some peach crunch by his sister? Yeah, I you absolutely could. Uh, she's in Belton. Um, you know, she owns that restaurant there. But um, any of you guys around Belton, I'm telling you, if you go in there and walk in the door, their little display place has free man hats and stuff in there. She asked me for them and we sent them to her. Unless she sold them all and I just never heard of it. But we sent her a bunch of them. But very like-minded people, you know, go in there and support them if you guys are around. And if you do go in there to um, the restaurant and ask for the owner and tell them that tag sent you and, you know, say free man or something. And she'll give you a good deal. I promise you. Um, let me see here. Pimento says, I just finished making six gallons of 12% blueberry wine. Oh, I bet that's awesome. Uh, Mandy says, when do you think you'll have the t-shirt up for sale on your website? It won't be the website. It'll be YouTube, Mandy, but I'll try to get it up tonight. Okay, when I get done here on the live, I'll try to get it up there, and then you can order it, okay? Um, I will email. I'll make you a deal, Mandy. I have your email. I will send you an email when they're up there. Sound good? Juby Joe says, um, if you can fish fresh, then save it properly. Uh, fishing is one of the reasons why I put my big pond in. I want to be able to sit out there and, you know, just relax and, and fish. I think it'd be awesome. Still, Roz says, most bugs are cool. But I absolutely hate scorpions. Their stings burn almost as bad as a sting from a red wasp. I'm so glad we don't have many scorpions up here. We've got them, but you never see them. I have a Misa. I go to the grocery store only once every three weeks or so. It's just the two of us. Imagine my shock each time I go. And I swear since 2020, things have gone up, gone up almost 50%. Yes. Yeah, Mandy, I got you. Like I said, I'll try to do it when I get. Depends what time we get done here tonight. I'll try to get it done. If I don't get it done, I'll do it first thing in the morning because I'll be right back up here working. And I got to get it done because I'm leaving for self-reliance. So, Carl Price, good evening to you. Can you tell how old we are? Can you tell how old we are? Yeah. You can be? How old you I, are? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you didn't come up with any dessert, I noticed. You can't talk and eat. <laughs> yeah, yes, I can. There's some jelly beans over there. Yep. Tambra, I have no idea how old you are. If that's what you're asking me. Now, if you come to the Zoom, I'll make you a deal. If you come to the Zoom on Thursday, I'll play Guess How Old You Are. Because I'll be able to see you, right? Um, Skins Girl said we had a real problem with scorpions last year. We only have two kinds in Louisiana. More like a bee sting, so I hear. Um, let me see. Cheap ground beef was $1.99 a pound in 2020. Last time, it was five forty nine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Jewel says we are old. Uh, speak for yourself. I'm a young guy. <laughs> this is getting serious for so many reasons. Yeah. Let me see here. Got a digital SRF ticket. Uh, stump grinding. Oops. This weekend have almost 20. Oh, goodness. You got 20 stumps to do? Yeah. Mandy Garrett says no rush on the t-shirt. No, I won't rush. I'll either get it done tonight or tomorrow. Um, one way or the other. We need freesteading coffee. Yeah, I wonder if we could figure out someone to do that for us. I don't need another job. I can tell you that right <laughs> now. You know, Tamara says that was in the 70s. So who is she referring to? Can you tell how old we are? That was in the 70s. Hey, now, I am the only kid in the room. Laugh my ass. Yeah. <laughs> Big kid. Tag, I've met you. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm a kid still, right? That's why we're speeding up the farmstead here. Yeah, I'm, guys, I would encourage you to continue to, you know, speed up the farmstead. And what else do we got here? Oh, did you guys, maybe I've been in the dark. Yeah, Big Kid says hollow roast is good. Yeah. And, and um, Nicole Sauce is part of freesteading, and she has hollow roast coffee. Maybe I can get her to put an ad up or something. Amy B says Nicole Sauce could hook us up with a, 
Hollow roast free stread free steady oh, blend. I like that. Free steading blend. Anybody make it, make it have some like crunchy stuff in it and I chew it. Because you're crunchy. <laughs> no, because you're <laughs> always like cowboy coffee has chunks in it. It does. I actually really love this idea. Uh yeah. That's a I, really I do. actually think that's a good idea. Yeah. GB Joe says, I'm old and you couldn't guess. Well, come on to the Zoom tomorrow and I will guess. I would love that. Yep. Yeah, we need to we need to hook talk to Nicole's house. I will talk to her when I'm down there about creating a free steading blend. Anybody you have any idea what they would like for the blend? Like you want a dark roast? You want, you know, what is it you like? Yeah. I'm a young gentleman end. trapped in a crippled old farts body, said Rickster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have a hunch that I'm the youngest, says Joseph G. <coughs> Uh, I am absolutely a 38-year-old child. Okay, Palmento, that's younger than me. Eagle Lover says, no, I am 16, remember? <laughs> yep. I do not think you're 16. 29, maybe, not 16. Hippocrates says, uh, permaculturist, it depends. Old permaculturist wears depends. <laughs> <laughs> oh I would expect no less. <laughs> <laughs> B-Tag needs a snack. <sighs> Jelly beans. Yeah, here's some jelly beans. Did you guys see that? I brought her dessert. Did you see that? Two, I brought her dessert. Two jelly beans. That's right. I brought her dessert. So you guys can tell where the, who loves who the most, right? I'm going to eat them then if you're going to give them to me. <laughs> Big Kid says, I am a kid. Don't drink coffee. Mm -hmm. Tea. Will Be Cool says, I will be at the Hollow Roast table all weekend. Oh, cool. So, Will Be Cool. Maybe you could talk to um, Nicole about that as well and see if we can hook something up. Maybe she can do some hot cocoa. Yeah, milk and honey would rather have tea. I like tea. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be retired as per my daughter, but between the homestead and keeping up with her desk work, I think I put in more hours a week um, than when I was an over-the-road driver. Yeah, I don't doubt that. Homesteading is a full-time job. Um, Jules, said, uh, Jules said she turned 21 for the 30th time. Yeah. Joseph's 33. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He is the youngest then. Well, I don't know if he's the youngest or not, but we'll see if someone else oh, that's pops right. up. Eagle Lug Verb. Leap year. Remember? Oh, that's she right. Is 13. She is 13. I had to put down several hundred feet of heavy ground cover by myself, and the wind blew it away. <laughs> yeah. Light roast, please. Better flavor, Rickster says. What does the 71 stand for in Big Kid 71? Yeah, I would say he was, I would say he was born in 71, but I don't think that's accurate. Be interested to see what he says. One more rock. Hello. Some of the homesteading channels have depends for commercials. Yeah. I wish we could control what commercials come on because mm -hmm. we have no control over it. Like you click, either you can have them or you can't. But other than that, you have absolutely no control. Got to say, I have chewed a coffee bean. Um, what does that say? Continental Coffee Company. Mm -hmm. I've tried um, coffee, chocolate roasted coffee beans once. Ate a bag of them. And oh, man, I'll never do that again. What happened? Oh, my stomach hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yep. Got to say, I have, I oh, no, already did that one. Sorry, I apologize. Rickster says bees brand honey liquor. Honey liquor. That's a mead, right? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Honey mead? Like a, yeah, like liquor. Yeah. Yep. Mandy said, I, I planted three chestnut trees yesterday and can't wait for roasted chestnuts as snacks. Yeah, so yummy. I planted like 45 chestnut. Yep. Big Kid says that was the year he was born. Oh, cool. So Big Kid and me are the same age. Or close. Not exactly. But close. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Silver Lining says she's 15. Yes. She was also leap year. Yep. So it wasn't 13. It was 15. Yep. Um, let me see. And my last name is Kid. And I'm a big kid. So big kid 71. Cool. Tamara says she was born in 1960. Most homesteaders are older than me. It makes sense. That they'd put Depends commercials on homesteading channels. <laughs> Yeah, apparently, huh? <laughs> Chocolate covered coffee beans are the bomb. You know, they're okay if you eat one or two, but beyond that, nope. Yeah, I am a me said that happened to me too. Yeah, I had bought a whole bag and they were really good and I ate them all. 
Yeah, no thanks. Let me see. Juby Joe says, I worked for the company. Let me see. Which company? I must have missed it up here. Juby Joe. Oh, Continental Coffee Company. Got it. Um, where am I at? Right there. Okay. We found two more peach trees on our property and discovered our upper pond has some fish in it. There you go. Pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, hey, everybody. Sorry, I'm late, says Rita. Well, Rita, you are here in the perfect amount of time. Now we're going to go to bed. I'm just kidding. <sighs> um, Rickster says, uh, my birthday is January 11th, 1971, so I think I'm older than you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. There's the age thing going on tonight. Joseph says, I do not like coffee. Yeah, give it time. I didn't either. And now it's like my favorite thing. I look for it. And I get up in the morning. It's the first thing I look for. And because we live off grid and because depending upon the day, that's actually one of the things that I hate the most about off grid living is that I get up. It's and not the, ready when you get no, up. No, you can just don't push a button. That's not how it works. You get well, up. Yeah, and you, because you it was on heat. a timer before. Yeah, you got to heat the. You know, the fire the up, and then you got to, you know, get the percolator going, and you got to get, so it might be an hour or two before I finally get coffee first time of the day. Now, if it's sunny, going to be sunny that day, we can just brew hot, but through the winter, most of the time, it's all percolator. Yeah. Uh, Pockery says, I just say, I remember bell bottoms for the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, Silver Lighting says, oops, I'm 14, not 15. I'm so confused. <laughs> Only four or five chocolate coffee beans at a time. Yeah, that's really good advice. Will be cool. That is really good advice. <laughs> um, you see, James brings me coffee in bed. Oh, that's a new tradition. Yeah. Would you do that? You don't stay in bed long enough. I'm. Uh, if you stay in if, bed. If I knew that you would bring it to me in bed, I might hang out there longer. You wouldn't. No. You'd get antsy. You'd have to come downstairs to go potty anyway, so you might as well just stay down here. Mm -hmm. uh, Mandy Garrett says, I'm about to order a grain mill from Grain Maker. Does anyone um, have anything to let me know before I press the order button? Mandy, I've never, maker? yeah, I've never ordered that kind. I've never had that kind. Um, we have a country living grain mill. Is that right? Yeah. Um, so I, I've never had that kind, but I hope somebody does. Hey, Vicky, long time no talk. Hey, big kid, you are not the only kid in the room. I do drink coffee. Would like a sunshine blend. Oh. Do you know, have you heard of that? Have you heard of a sunshine blend? I have not. But I coming from the sunshine you. kid, that would make some sense. I don't drink coffee, it's nasty stuff. Mm -hmm. Big kid. At 40, I tried having a birthday every other year, but my sister keeps calling me and blowing my plan. Good sister. <laughs> Drummond's Lamb says, I drink coffee alone. Do I have a drinking problem? No. No, that's, that's the time in the morning where you're meditating, where you're getting your thoughts straight to be, be your very best that day. Sounds like to me that you're doing it exactly right. Um, meditating. Yeah, Miley says, drinking a lemon-lime Sprite. I like you a lot. <laughs> yeah. 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 You see here, I'm 63, but still a badass old woman. There's no doubt, Tamara. <laughs> Tamara, I would not argue that of the least. Um, let me see here. Hot, strong, and black as nature intended. Proud to be a coffee holic. Yep. Amen. You me can too. relate to that, right? I can absolutely relate to that. I love coffee. It's strong, look, first thing black. I look for. Yep. And the longer it's brewed, the better it is, the in my opinion. Oily on top. Yep. Um, Juby Joe said, I parked my 280Z. I had a 280Z once in the front parking spot. Got called out in weeks, and I thought it was for the temp. I would park my 280Z in the front parking space. Got Oh, we're talking about the cop. Got, 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 um, got called out in weeks, and I thought it was for the temp. I loved my 280Z. I got rid of it long before I met you, but... That was such a cool car. Yeah, Vicky Poland says my freestanding name is Sunshine Kid. Oh, that's why I said that, right? Yes, yes, yes. I got it. You are quick. Pay attention. And me. I am not. <laughs> Coffee does get my mind right for the day. Amen, Johnny. Me too. Coca Cola and smoke is the breakfast of champions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no Coca Cola. Anti Coca Cola. Was it Mountain Dew in the day? Were you a Mountain Dew? No, most most of my friends drink Mountain Dew. I drink Pepsi. Um, growing up, but um, I'm a me says I love strong coffee with heavy cream. Me too. Love coffee. Now that makes sense, Vicky. Yep. Would you drink it if it had cream in it? Yeah. I just don't need it, you know, like I don't mind it. 
sometimes need it. you guys, this is going to sound gross. Most of you guys are going to say, oh, my God, Jack. So at night when I go to bed, I take a glass this size right here, right? And it's filled it's like with three ounces. Yeah, it's filled with chocolate milk. And because it's in this kind of cup, it stays cold all night long. And so if I wake up in the middle of the night or my throat's dry or whatever, I'll take a, a drink of uh, milk. chocolate milk all night long. All night long. And so then when I get up in the morning, usually there's about this much left in the bottom of it. And typically I'll just pour my coffee on top of it. <laughs> just use the same cup. And so that's kind of like. With the milk in it? Yeah. Gross. Yeah. So, because you want it, you want the coffee colder. No, I just don't want to waste the milk. I appreciate that. <laughs> Isn't it chocolate milk? Yeah, you we'll pour be the coffee over the chocolate milk. Yes, it's kind of like a mocha. <laughs> we'll be cool. If says you're my happy. Th I'm happy for <laughs> Did you. Did you know that will be cool? Name on freestanding is will be cool. Oh, that's good. That's good well, to know. I, we could probably find that one. Yeah, Juby Joe says she was working for Continental Coffee. Yeah, when I, I read back up, uh, I scrolled back up Juby Joe to find the connection, and we got it. Pepsi and a smoke before breakfast, says Rickster. You know what? I used to I used to really like Pepsi. I don't drink it at all anymore, but mm -hmm. I drank some coffee in Africa that was as thick as caramel strong, strong coffee. See, I would I'm in. <laughs> I think the longer it brews, the better it tastes. It was thick as caramel. Weren't they 280 ZXs? I had two different ones. Loved those cars. That gives a clue to my our age. Yeah, I love mine. Um, I had, mine was just a Z. I don't think it was a ZX. It was a 76, I think. I'm trying oh to remember. God, it was a long time no ago. Idea. It was a black, little two-door two little sports car, straight six. It was a beautiful car. But I sold it. More jelly beans be you will outrun him. I know. I'm surprised you didn't need him. Mm -mm. No, I'm I put you first. I like him. <laughs> yep. Thank well, you. The, the Cafe Mocha. That's right, Jules. That's right. <laughs> Rita says she lo likes chocolate milk in her coffee. Yep. Yeah. Big Kid said he had a 260Z for a little bit. The the precursor to 280Z, yes. Yep, I had a 280. Um, hard to find RC Cola nowadays. Yeah, I haven't seen it in forever. They wanted me full-time employment, and I said, no way, Continental Coffee. Oop. Yeah, I wouldn't want to work full-time for anyone anymore. No way. Um, I haven't had a soda in over 26 years, mm. says the IMF me. Eagle Lover said, I had a 300ZX with T-Tops. Loved it. Yeah, those are great cars. Like I said, I miss mine. I always wanted to take mine and put a V8 in it and have some fun with that because, you know, they do the conversions, but I never did. Oh, God, I'm going to butcher this. Vicky says, grew up on Cafe Alas. Coffee with milk. Had lots of Cajun relatives. Hmm. Cowboy coffee was really good, Tag. <laughs> yeah, Silver Lining Oh yeah. was at the house, and she got to drink some ca cowboy coffee um, at my house. So it was pretty cool. It was just a percolator, and it just sits there and percolates all day long on the stove, and it gets stouter and stouter and stouter as the day goes on. Joseph says he don't drink soda either. Yeah, me either. A thermos of hot Irish coffee on a cold day of offshore fishing is priceless. Oh, I bet. I would love to do some of that offshore fishing, but I probably wouldn't want to do it for a living. Just a few times to check it out, you know. Um, okay, think the – well, first of all, Simpler Times, thank you. She's, they said hit the like button. Thank you, yep. Simpler. I feel like that okay, one. think of uh, ZZZ had a tiny back seat. Yes, super tiny back seat. My niece put a teaspoon of chocolate mix in my coffee, and I was surprised how good it was. Oh, it's super huh. good. Why did they stop making tea tops? I don't know. They really have stopped making them, have they? Stop. Yeah, I don't know. It's a good question. 280Z gold. It hurt my back when I was an athlete. Hmm. My husband used to have a 1969 Dodge Super B with a 383 and a full racing cam and pushing 500 horse from the rear end. Yeah, mm. I bet he still wishes he had a 1969 Dodge Super B. <laughs> That'd be worth some good money. Yeah, uh, my dad had a 240 a long time ago. Yeah, they were great cars. Lemon lime Sprite is best with pineapple rum. <laughs> <laughs> I heard also that that was good. Yeah. Um, community coffee milk. Yes. From age five or so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Skates girl says no sodas here. Coffee, tea, and water. 
my ex got a Trans Am right before we got married, about 150 mile per hour. It was, it is the fastest I ever drove it. It would go faster. Yeah, I wouldn't drive anything that fast today. Uh uh-uh. uh. Heck no. I've turned into a putz. Sure wish I still had my 69 Camaro Super Glide Tranny and the 307 pulled and installed a 283 Vroom Vroom. Yeah, how cool. Yep, apparently the people still have RC in Georgia, and I think there was another one up above. I think it was Rick was talking about in Utah. They still have it. Huh. Um, Rickster says, uh, I have a Camaro RS SS California edition. It was super fast. I had a 70 and a half for a while. The little split front bumper was pretty cool. My favorite ride I owned was the home-built 79Z28 with over 800 horse. And a big nitrous. Way too fast for me. T-tops, yes, but pain in the back. Love the shifts. Because they always got stolen T-tops, maybe. I think coffee now with heavy cream and a tablespoon. Uh, Ghirardelli. Yeah, Ghirardelli cocoa mix. I love this. So chocolate. So I guess that's a common thing for people to have chocolate in Mm -hmm. their coffee. Apparently, it's common for people to jump trains. It's common for people to cook fish on rocks. It's common for people to to go off into the woods with no. Yeah, you've been living in the dark the whole time. Mm. The whole time. Yeah, I just drink drink my water. (laughs) My wife doesn't want me to get a motorcycle because she knows she'll eventually become a widow. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, but it's going to sound crazy. I'm going to say this, but I mean, I would rather choose the way I exit this world instead of, you know. Laying on some shelf somewhere. I mean, Eek. Prep said, my sister had a 280Z. We walked in high cotton for a while. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Palmetto because um, they became permanent, you know, the sunroof. Uh, I'd rather have the T-tops. Let me see. Because uh, you have to take them off and store them and then put them back yeah. on, right? Yeah. Jimmy Joe says, deep sea fishing love and have almost died out there twice. Yeah. Mm. Big Kid said, I saw a 873 quarter mile times at 177 miles an hour. No, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, hold on. Nurses call motorcycles. Donor cycles. Donor cycles. Oh, that's harsh. Put a tablespoon of Hershey's cocoa underneath your coffee grounds. Good. Actually, I would try that. I'm, in, I'm interested in that. I had a bunch of fun building it um, as I, let me see, Big Kid says I had a bunch of fun building it as I did racing for almost 20 years. Uh, uh, so my I was mo- probably on a track. Yeah, my mom told my dad the same thing once, and she was right that time too. Yeah. Ugh. Aztec gold chocolate is on another level. Hmm. Um, let me see here. As far as energy drinks go, I started about a year ago drinking Arizona Herbal RX. But it has corn syrup in it, so now I drink Jocko Fuel. I've never drank any of those. I don't know what Jocko Fuel is. Is that Jocko, the Navy SEAL guy? Is that something he makes? Is that Joseph? a last name? Is that a guy's last name? Yeah, you know, well, Jocko's a, there's a guy named Jocko who's a Navy SEAL guy who does a lot of, like, you know, YouTube and just a lot oh, of stuff. Okay. I'm assuming that's what that's from. <clears throat> okay. My little sister is 60, and unless it's raining, she still rides her Harley to work. I'd love to have a Harley someday. I've told B this a whole bunch of times, and I keep thinking I'm going to drive home one day and there's going to be one sitting in the driveway. <laughs> I would never spend that kind of money without you mm-hmm. approving it first. Oh, if, if I came home and there was a Harley in the driveway, I would be approved. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't come close to death once or twice a year, you're are you really living? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Amy B says a 1976 dual purpose Indian ME 100 having a frame off restoration now. Oh, cool. Oh, big kid says street and strip B. Like a street and strip car, you know? You don't know. Cajun coffee is seaport. Add a little bit of whipped cream and chocolate milk in your coffee. Oh, so good. Yeah. I'm drinking maple flavored coffee right now, says Terminator. Maple. Uh, Catherine says, I prefer prefer a quarter horse. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's more my background, too. Uh, let me see. What's this say? I don't bounce like I used to. No. Yes, correct. <laughs> Everything hurts more. Isn't that funny how as you get older, you become more careful of every... Walking hurts now. Yeah. I mean, just getting out of bed, it's like... Ow, 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 what, ow. what I've noticed is the difference so much about that <clears throat> is that like when I'm coming down the stairs, I'm paying way more attention to where I'm stepping. Instead of just, 
Yeah, because I'm way more nervous about falling. It hurts a whole lot more today than it did, you know, when I was a young guy. Yeah. Um, I'm selling my Harley Davidson, says ACM. Hey, do you barter? They're way too far away. No, they're not. <laughs> um, I hear better independent drinking Jocko quite frequently. Okay. Yes, Jocko the Navy SEAL came out with a healthy energy drink. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, Seaport was so strong, had to have milk. Okay. Um, Tamara says, boring skeins, girl. I wonder what. I don't know what, what I must have missed that one. Anyway, I drove on the street all week and raced Wednesday, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Oh my goodness. I can't do anything nowadays without drawing blood or a bruise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Um, Bailey's and coffee's good. Well, let me add to the testosterone high here. Okay. <laughs> Our Kia Sedona will do zero to 50 in 10 minutes. It can haul five kids fast. Mic drop. <laughs> crack pop. Oh, I love it. Yep. Snap, crackle, pop. Ouch. <laughs> you know. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Richard said at 17, I had a 90cc Bridgestone, would average 100 miles a day. Miss those days was so much fun. Yeah. That's why our house does not have stairs, says Vicky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is why I'm trying to get pod four done. I'm tired of climbing the stairs. Although, you know, Warren Buffett says one thing that's kept him healthy is he still lives in the same house and has to go upstairs. He climbs the stairs every day to go to, you know, to go to bed. So maybe it's good. At Continental Coffee, got called into the president's office and he and assistants offered me a chocolate covered coffee bean. I ate it and thought they won't have me. Yeah, I'm going to tell you that, yeah, they're trying to bribe you. They're really good, but I mean, you just can't eat very many of them, you know. Tag, what's on your list? What, what's what on? else is on your list? Oh, I don't know. Um, We talked about SRF, right? I'm leaving there. We talked about okay. questions. And you guys, seriously, send me questions. It'll be fun. And when you get to SRF, you are speaking as Saturday morning, yep. right? Yep. So the event is Saturday and Sunday. Yep. And is it all day Saturday, all day Sunday? Yep. And then there's camping overnight Saturday yep. and Sunday. Or yep. no. Friday night and Saturday night. Yeah, Friday camping, night and Saturday night. Yeah. Um, on premise. Mm -hmm. And then the, what are you doing for food? You have food. There's food vendors. Trucks. I don't know. I'll figure it out when I get there. Remember, okay. I'm the fish guy on the rock. Well, I'm going to. Yeah. And I'm like, here, <laughs> let, me, let me get your cooler ready with some road mm -hmm. snacks and some chocolate milk. And but you're not going to need any of that then. I I'll should figure just it out. let you just. Don't, don't worry about it. Either. Should I'll, I just put $20 in your wallet and pat you on the back. I'll be fine. Have fun. Yeah, I'll be fine. 20 bucks. 20 bucks won't get you anything at a gas station these days. Yeah. Hey. Not. Um, let me see here. Um, yeah, tag is, is up first, Nicole said. Yeah, apparently I'm opening, um, which is pretty cool. So I get to, I'm actually kind of. Um, Saturday morning. Happy about this because I'll be able to do my thing and then go enjoy the rest of the day chit-chatting with everybody. Gratitude to Grace. I'm new here. Well, hello and welcome. What is SRF? So SRF is the uh, Self-Reliance Festival going on this weekend in Camden, Tennessee. And I'm actually speaking on um, Saturday morning at like 9.30 or 10 o'clock or something like that. Mm -hmm. And apparently they're doing some uh, online access, yeah. right? Is, didn't somebody say they already got their online access? Yes. And we have a discount code called Freesteaders. I'm horrible at doing this because I just never talk about it. But Freesteading has a discount code. So if you go, you get like 10% off or something. Can like you get the discount on the live yeah. streaming? Yeah, I think so. I, I okay. Know. I think so. That'd be cool. Um, so is it recorded? If if I paid for the live streaming, can I also view, view it later? Is it recorded? I, I don't know. But because I'm speaking there, I will get a recording. Don't do that. I was just wondering for oh, yeah. anybody oh, yeah. else. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I don't know how it works, but I would imagine the digital ticket, if you buy it, you can download it would be my guess. Okay. I would assume. That'd be a good question to ask. I wonder if... Um, uh, She's not who's in, in here. here that would know? Data? No, data probably. I don't think data would know. Maybe... Yeah, I was looking to see if there's somebody in here who would know the answer to that. Mm 
No. Okay. <clears throat> Um, everyone should prepare for unknown health crisis. My mom waited too long with a three-story house. Prepare for your older years or a change in health status. Yeah. yeah. Two more stories might eliminate your home. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to get, again, get pod four done. Yeah. Thanks for the arm leg code. Can't go in person this year. Yeah, well, still go down. You know, I hope, I wonder if you can download it. That'd be really cool if you can. I'd like to know the answer. I'll try to, I'll try to get you guys an answer on that. Oh, yeah. Amy B. said there is a link for watching it, viewing late. Okay, watching cool. Watching it. For live later. watching it or viewing it later. Okay. See above for digital ticket info. Okay. Got it. Got it. Super cool. Great. Um, so as, as uh, Mandy Garrett was in here, she asked me to build an It Depends t-shirt. So I'm going to build one and put it on there. Is there any other t-shirts anybody wants? It Depends. Are you putting it on the... Where how how where are you putting it? I'm putting it on the YouTube. Spring Store on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. I just got to go in there and, and put it in there. But if anybody's interested in something else, tell me and all. She wants it to say what? It depends. It depends. Just black shirt with white. I've got a couple different ones I can put in there. So. Okay. But in case somebody else wanted one. Or any other ideas? Yeah. Or any other yeah. ideas? Okay. So, I wonder here. I'm gonna check and see if any of you guys sent me any emails. Oops. Probably should not do that. Huh? Look at this. Does anybody else have a any any other homesteader have a booklet that looks like this? <laughs> yeah, what's that for? Well, I've got like I've got my calendar in here, which is what I keep notes on. You know, when I when I when I started the eggs, when I expect the eggs, how many should come, what's going on with your schedule, what's going on with my schedule. And then of course a pocket one in case I have you know, something else. And then, you know, I write down questions from the Zoom meeting. I also write down questions for the, this is the book that I have everything in. Mm -hmm. Just a notebook. But look, this is the greenhouse. What's in the greenhouse? What's planted? Oh, I've started uh, new microgreens so for the secession planting. Okay. So that we could eat, you know, mm -hmm. multiple times. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So next thing I had on my list is to just talk a little bit. So I got to spend, um, the last couple days with Indiana Mike. And so he had a project on his homestead, um, repairing a, basically an old barn. And, um, mm -hmm. so the, it, it was covered on three sides. One side was basically open. And so he asked me to come cut for him. And, um, so for you guys who don't know, when I was younger, um, growing up through high school, I worked on with a framing company, framing houses, but I got to where my job was being the cut man. And so it's super normal for someone to say, Hey, cut, come cut for me. Cause it makes things go a whole lot quicker. So Indiana, Mike built it, um, built everything. I didn't build it. I just cut, um, for him, tried to stay ahead. So did of he just material. yell out 30, no, Whatever, no, and a half. no, when it's a project, Heavy. when it's a project like that, I will go measure ahead of time. So, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to measure oh, whatever we're building and I hand it, hand him the wood and then he will disassemble it, put it all in place. And then I would go on to the next measurement. Well, if you're measuring it and you're cutting it, are you numbering them? How's he supposed to know how they go together? No, he better be ready for him when I hand them to him. Oh, you cut one hand at him. Yeah, I cut, cut one yeah, and just then go, yep, yeah, and tell, or there's not always one because sometimes it's like. Do, do you, you need six blocks of 14 and a half inches. Yeah. I'll cut all six of them. And then those are his blocks, you know, for the wall or whatever it is. But um, anyway, he did a great job and it looks great. And I know that, um, you know, he, and do we know the name of his channel? Cause he's just started a brand new channel. Indiana Mike. Is it Indiana Mike? You sure? Yeah. And then some numbers. Yeah. I need to know. Hey, Indiana, you still in here, bud? If you are, give me what your, what your new channel is. Cause he's starting to track all the stuff they're building. And so anyway, we were over there today and uh, it looked great. He did a great job and I was, uh, it was fun to be part of it. And you guys can, fo yeah, follow along. Yeah. The so, journey. I don't the, know if he's still in here or not. The brand new is. homesteading journey. Yeah. Where's it under? Juby Joe needs an assistance. Yep. Um, with dividers, animal, animal gardens, projects, et cetera. Yeah. B used to use a homestead book. I, yes, but it was $60 and there was so many pages that I didn't use. And I felt like for $60, I could just get a notebook and try to keep notes. And then it was like, wait, the calendar, I have to write stuff in a calendar. And then. 
Joseph says, my parents won't move downstairs. My mom already hurt herself falling down the stairs. Ouch. Yes, B, I have a book for my chickens, book for gardens, book for Zoom calls. I get some good ideas on the Zoom. So yeah, you I have love a the book Zoom. for everything? You have one book for each? Because I was wondering about that, like, if I needed to. Skane's Girl says, at least it's not needs, depends, laugh out loud. Yeah. B, are you growing macro greens outside in the soil or inside in a grow tent? If inside, what medium do you use? I am in the greenhouse growing mm -hmm. microgreens, and I am using, um, like, dirt from the yard. Mm -hmm. Like, straight up from the dam that was yanked out. Yeah, so we, when we had the pond put in, when they built the dam, I had them save all the topsoil. Topsoil. So she's using topsoil is what she's growing them in, and they're in the greenhouse. Yep. Cut it longer, tag, oh yeah, and grab the board stretcher. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't make too many wrong cuts. Uh, most of them came out, you know, pretty okay. Would he say that too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he actually made a joke today when we were out there. Um, I was cutting, and there was a very weird cut, and I handed it to him, and it fit right in. And he said, I think you're part Amish. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, you're good at those cuts too. Yeah. Well. No one knows what tomorrow holds. Prepare to either be able to live on one story or have an elevator yeah i'm just gonna live on one story yeah um let me see sorry they make a rail chair of some sort to go up and down the stairs they do you can always scare old people off the second floor with the threat of a fire or tornado <laughs> we put a stair lift in for my mom says vicky um sorry i lost it um, when we moved into into the older house on our property, also put in a platform outside porch. Sap season very poor here so far this year. 121 trees tapped and only 10 and a half pints of syrup this week. Oh, wow. I love some of that though. Yep, Ten you know. And a half Richard, did you know that B is a professional maple syrup tester? Mm -hmm. Yeah. She, she tested on pancakes. Yeah. She tested on waffles. So I hope that your harvest improves. I hope. Anyway, <laughs> what else do I got? Check about the brooder. Are you excited about your brooder? Diana? I am excited about the brooder. Are I you... need to go and check on them because I turned the light off right before the Zoom. And um, because it's so dark in there, they they were not going underneath the brooders, mm -hmm. underneath the heat. They were still kind of like just... Mm -hmm. They're confused. Mm -hmm. I need to go and open it and push them all corral them over to the heaters silver lining says my zoom book has the homesteading information such as rain catchment solar power and the such mm. so that sounds like to me she has different books yeah right i would say but yeah Do, why don't you you don't need a homestead book you don't no. need to write stuff down there's no. nothing that you need to there's for guys Babe, do, you, do you know that i can tell you in pod for the angle of the cut for the stairs I built a year ago. Oh yeah. I can't remember <laughs> so. how many bars of soap are down there. And I already read it off today. <laughs> I counted them. I wrote Ooh. it down and I still couldn't tell you them because mm -hmm. yeah. it's like in and then gone. Yeah. I'm off to the next. Richard says he'll send us a sample in a couple weeks. <gasps> I lobbied. Correct. <gasps> Maple sticky buns. Yes. Yeah. Might actually get something there, huh? You need uh, a slide from the second floor for adults like you have for their grandkids off the deck. Heck yeah. Yeah. I love the slide. Could you on the imagine? Back. Would you use that? Would you slide? Would you uh, use absolutely. A slide? Absolutely. I'd use a fireman's pole. I too. was going to say, or a pole. Yeah. Not in the summertime, probably. <laughs> I would use it. Because you're in shorts, although mm -hmm. your shorts go down to your ankles. Not quite. You wear long shorts. I wear whatever you have in my drawer. I know, but you're you don't like them short shorts. No. I yeah. Chocolate was originally consumed as a hot beverage long before the candy bar was ever invented. I, I love me some chocolate milk. Oh, there we go. I got some questions got some for questions. the live. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, super I cool. I think everybody would be different too. Yeah, and those are both really, really good yeah. questions. You guys seriously send me questions. Yeah, so It'll be fun. that's for Friday. So they've got a yep. couple of days. Yep. Yep. So it'll be pretty cool, I think. 
Um, when thought, are you gonna just? When are you gonna tell them who the uh, other people are? So if they have specific questions for those people, they can get them in. Um, is it gonna just be a surprise so they won't know who it is? And okay, so so like, oh, all right. Crap. So let me ask everybody: How important is it for you to know who the speakers are for the questions? Yeah, because what happens if it's like you know? I don't know. You see, I've got to finish my spreadsheet for inventory. Yep, there's a red book diary, but they are expensive also. Yeah. Well, the problem with, with, with Tamara, she bought it and used it, but only didn't use it all. I did. There was so many pages in there that I did not write on because I was just like, what? I don't understand. You know, a whole page to keep track of eggs when I go to the date and I just write how many eggs there were. And it's always in the same place. Mm -hmm. So I know I don't need a, a whole separate page for that. I put it on the day on the calendar. Drummonds and Lives says, I used to love being a drywall cutter and the measurements being yelled were like 48 and a half small by 64 big. Yeah, that that's how we do it too, except I use um, actually hair color. Yeah. So it'd be like, I need 48 and a half with a red or, you know, a short red or a long red because um, it's just a joke. But anyway, I'm going to leave that one there. Yeah. Um, that's a good point. I think knowing who the speakers are to tailor the questions are pretty important. Mm, let me see here. I wear everything that repels cat hair. <laughs> okay, so who's going to be there um, for the live will be Data from Getting Deep with Data, Bobby Spags, and Eric from Porterhouse and Teal. Oh. We'll be there. And um, so that's who will be on the live. So now you and guys you. Know. And me, of course. Okay. Yep. So that's so, a whole, that's, that's a lot of different yeah, angles. Cause yeah. you've got animals, you've got growing yep. food, you've got security, you've got yep. homesteading, you've got yep. two, two veterans. Right. Um, so yeah, it'll be interesting. Kind of a little bit of everything, you know, Amy B says what time yeah. for the live uh, zoom. So the zoom will be at, uh, tomorrow and Thursday, the regular zoom call on freesteading. Oh, yeah, we'll be yeah, tomorrow at seven tomorrow. o'clock. At seven o'clock, um, we're gonna try to do Amy B is alive from um, Tennessee, so from the Self Reliance Festival. When we get there Friday night with those four, four guys, we're gonna do I think just a regular live through YouTube, um, and we're gonna try to shoot for eight o'clock. But I will update you guys once I get on the road because once we actually get moving down the road, I'll be able to time that pretty close. Mm. Um, why am I betting Grumpy ends up on it also? I'm not sure when Grumpy and them are going down or when they're getting there or where they're staying, but I'm going to have an incredible weekend because I'm the, the Airbnb that we rented. I'm um, shacking up and thankfully there's four rooms and I can shut the door. But anyway, I'm shacking up with Data, Spags, um, and then Eric from Porterhouse and Teal and me are all in the same Airbnb kind of off the beaten path. And so I'm sure we will you know, smoke some cigars and, and, uh, you know, and grumpy has drink a little and going with him. Yeah. So Grump, grumpy's, grumpy's going to be there, but so is hacks for the homestead and Patty. So I don't know what's all going to yeah. end up, which is why we're going to do it Friday. Yeah. Because Saturday night will probably be a, a zoo, you know, or at least a little bit, I would guess. Um, there's a dinner. Isn't there a dinner? One of those nights for the, for the central time, Amy. Yes. Don't you have a dinner? At yeah, Central there's Alliance? a yeah there's a VIP or dinner Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah, that that they um, all the speakers are encouraged to be there so that people can chit chat with you if they if they choose to. But yeah. anyway, all right, guys, that's enough for me. I uh, I have been through my entire list. If you guys have questions, send them to me. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm gonna throw some curveball questions in there. See if I can get the guys to sweat. Oh. We fine. You can give me some questions too, right? Okay. So we'll see if we can, you know, have some fun, but uh, it ought to be pretty good, I think. So we'll see. And that way, that way, we still get to do a Friday live. It'll be a little bit later than normal, but it'll be all right. Too bad you guys aren't doing a Zoom because that. Well, I guess it would be the same kind of thing because just watching you guys talk, it would just to be a fly on the wall when you guys were talking. Yeah. That would be a bit. That would be a nice conversation to yeah. listen to. Well, and it'll be very different from our live with you and me, right? Because we're going to be talking about ge oh, geopolitics, yeah, guy stuff. And, you know, geopolitics and prepping yeah. and, you know, some of the, I'm sure it'll be a lot of that. But we'll see. I guess I don't really know what's going to come up, but I'm certainly looking forward well, to Spags it. Well, Spags will be there, so. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, the good news is all four of those people that'll be on there are opinionated. Oh, well, I guess data too. Yeah, it is opinionated. Well, just the stuff that you guys are good. Yeah, right. Opinionated. That's a good way to say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, enjoyed the live. Uh, praying for safe travels. Tag. Yep. Yeah. yeah, guys. Good night, everybody. We're gonna go ahead and cut it out here. It's an hour and forty-four minutes. I know it's a little bit early for us, but um, I still have a lot to get done. So I'm gonna try to do that. And um, I think that's it. My end. And you- then you'll be back on Friday. <laughs> I your life. I'm back on Friday for the live. So anything you want to say on your way out? Um besides why why I didn't get dessert. I know I was moving chickens. Chicken, chicken dessert. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> um yeah, see, things don't happen the way it, it kind of seems like this is a normal thing. You know, we we have a list of things that we want to get done. And instead of, you know, getting the door done, instead of getting this done, you know, last week we had every single day we had somebody here. We had company every single day. So it was like the list of things that I wanted to get done did not get done. And so here we are a week later. Well, it's not even a week later because that was Friday. So You know what the crazy thing is? I would have gotten everything I wanted to get done done if you had not keep changing the plans. No. I mean – the birds hatched on their own. I did not hatch <laughs> them. They were due. Okay, so. okay, okay, help me real quick. Okay, hold up, hold up five. Five. Count them. One, one two, two, three, four, three, five. Four, five. Hold the next one up. One, two, three, four, Six, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Do it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And do it again. One, two, three, four, five. No, 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 no. Start Six, at eleven. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Start at eleven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, twenty. Okay, now hold up one more. 21. So you did hatch them. You determined when those eggs went in the hatch. No, you the said, no, you said one day, Crackhead. you said, if you would, if you would like to start <laughs> brooding chickens, you can do, or incubating chickens, you can do that because the, of the timing. And I said, done. Is there anything you'd like to part with? Done. Besides 48 your, eggs later. All your shenanigans. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, closing. Mm-hmm. Good night. Yeah, good night. Good night. Keep it up. Yep, keep it up. Take a step. Take take mm-hmm. small steps. Small steps yep. turn into miles four years later. Four years later. All right, guys. Well, I hope to see many of you at the Self-Reliance Festival. Um, I Safe can't travels. wait. Yep. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Um, hope to chit-chat a whole, a whole bunch. I get to get my speech out of the way first thing, so I'm going to have a lot of Side time, just sitting in my chair, chit-chatting with everybody. So please come check it, check me out. And uh, for those of you who don't make it, I hope to see you at the Midwest Preparedness Project in the, at the end of April. Yes, do that one. Yeah, and this one's going to be really, really cool for me because I don't have any role in it. <laughs> that one will be really cool for me as well because I will be there. You will be there. So I hope to see you guys then. Other than that, we'll be back next week at our normal live. So uh, as Big Kid said, hold the line, right? I could not say that uh Hold the line. Any better myself? Go live a life done free, says Jules. Yep, I couldn't say that. You know, any better myself? Don't give an inch is the one that we left out. And uh, tag out and be out, right? Be out. See you guys. Have a great night.